Hello everyone, welcome to Marcel Wells iHeartRadio show. I'm your girl Marcel Wells and today I'm with uh, Santi Carrera, Adriana Confasano. Now they are amazing actors and influencers and today we'll be talking about all their new success. And so guys, I know I heard y'all were on um, Chicken Girls, right? Yes. And you were Gus and you were Poppy, correct? Right. Tell us about your amazing experience and that opportunity being there. Um... Well, I mean, I booked the part two years ago, and since then, like, I made so many new friends because of it. Some of my current best friends I met on the show. Awesome. And I felt like I just learned so much being on set, and, like, I just think it was a really fun experience. Yes, that's awesome. What about you? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. I've been on Chicken Girls since last summer, mm -hmm. and, again, like, I've been able to make some of my best friends on set, yes. and I, the whole cast and crew are, like, such amazing people, so it's been a great experience. That's so awesome. Awesome guys. Also guys, we're in Santa Monica, so if you hear the music, we're just like vibing and chilling here. Yeah. Well, that's so awesome. Now, what was it like being on set and like playing Gus and Poppy, like being in that character? Um, it was fun. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, it was like a good experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Being on set is just like fun because mm -hmm. you're like hanging out with your friends, and even when you're filming, like technically you're still hanging out with your friends. Right. Like, you are working, but yes. like it's like. It's like fun work. It doesn't feel like work. Right. So that, good. That's so good. What about you? Yeah, I think it was really fun, especially my character. She's pretty different than like my actual personality. Right. So getting to like play that different like type of character was really fun. That's so cool. And now like since y'all are actors, how did y'all get into like what inspired you to like becoming? Because it's super hard, especially like coming from different parts of the area. Like right. how did you get into it? Um. Well, since I was little, I knew I wanted to be an actor. Hi. But where I live, uh. Jace Norman also lived, who plays Henry Danger. Oh, awesome! Um, so my brother was really good friends with him. Nice. So when like he booked that show, I kind of was like, wait, I want to do that too yeah. now, <laughs> like for real now. Like instead of just like school plays, like I really want to start doing it. Yes. So then I just started taking some like local classes. Mm -hmm. and then I got my agent manager and just went from there. That's so good. That's so good. So you did like musicals before, and that's how you transitioned. Yeah, just, like in school. Nice. That's I do that too. So like <laughs> love musicals. How about you? Yeah. So I started acting when I was five years old nice. yeah um, so I signed with like an a uh, manager mm -hmm. first um, and I started working on commercials some TV nice. shows yeah so I've been doing it since I was like super little I don't know it was just something like as a kid I would watch shows mm -hmm. like I Carly and Victorious yes. and I was like oh my god like I want to be on TV too <laughs> yes. so it kind of just worked out and I've just been yeah on this amazing journey that is so good also I heard that when you were I don't know what the age was but you played a character Lucy on Origin you black. Yeah. How was that like? Like you're like you were were you five years old? Um I was seven, I believe. Okay, but yeah, cool. it was really fun, especially because I was on the season from I was on a couple seasons, so nice. it was nice to be able to like grow up on the show kind of because yes. by the time I was done with it I was twelve. Mm -hmm. So I had like a whole family um, on the set, so it was nice to see them like every few years and it's, like right. every time we would see each other we were so much older. That's so yeah, cool. it was really great though. That is so awesome. Now what are some new upcoming projects that you y'all want to do or y'all are developing currently right now? Um, well, you know, right now I'm just auditioning for stuff and yes. whatnot. Um, what would I love to do? <laughs> yes. I really want to do, like, a really, like, fun, like, drama show. Because yes. I think... I don't know. I like comedy, but I think drama is just, like... Right. I like it more for some reason because mm -hmm. it just, like... I don't know. It has more depth. Like, for sure, like, yeah. yeah. And I like... Like I love Euphoria and like yes. that that type of show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I just think drama is more like fun for me. Right. I, I like to like kind of get out of my comfort zone a little and yeah. do what I don't usually do because right. then like, yeah. That's so good. Now, like, what's like your favorite show that you would love to be on? Like, if you got called up right now, like, hello, you are gonna be the main <laughs> star of this new season of what? Oh God, probably like I know this is like so basic. Probably yeah. like, Stranger Things or Euphoria. Yes. I love them. Yeah. I Totally see you on Stranger Things and Euphoria. Wow. See them five. Hello. <laughs> Call him, him up, DM. I can totally see that. Hopefully. I can totally see that. Yes, yeah, so what about you? Yeah, so I'm currently taking my acting classes yes. and practicing, you know, technique is always important. <laughs> um, and just auditioning for different things. Mm -hmm. I pretty much have the same, like, favorite shows. Yes. Like, I would love to be on Stranger Things. I love, like, Cobra 
Cobrakai, yeah. Outer Banks, mm -hmm. pretty much all the little like Netflixy shows right, out right. right now. I would love to be on pretty much any of those because especially all the amazing actors on there. Yes. Like, I would love to work with them. Yes, I love that Outer Banks and Stranger Things. I can see that. I can see. You. Okay, I can't lie. I've never seen Outer Banks before, oh and I haven't seen the new Stranger Things episodes, like the seasons. I'm a little bit out of date. You I'm like, to. I have to. I have to. But I can totally. Like, I've seen like the basics of everything, right. so I can totally see y'all like your craft and everything. And hey, they always need new characters too. That's so like, great. hit them up. Like for real, for real. And they're actually you're really good. At, I've seen your Thank stuff. You. I see, you. I did my research, <laughs> so I know. I know. Now, who is someone who inspires you to like keep on going? If it's like a, a person in your life, or if it's like your like a an actor or someone that you look up to, who is someone that like inspires you to keep on going? Um, honestly, Timothy Chalamet, because yes. like he started, I think his big role was when he was like ooh, 17. Mm -hmm. I could be totally wrong. I think it was around there though. Mm -hmm. And I was like 25, and he's doing all these like huge, huge projects. Wow. So like, I really want to like have a similar career to his, where he's yes. just constantly working on like big projects and like I mean everyone loves him so right. like yeah. uh yeah I can definitely see you working with him too I feel oh, like I I'll have like the same or Zendaya like yes. I know they're like the two basic people but like I, I would love to work with either of them sometimes I love how like your role model is someone that I can see you like actually like working with yeah. because I feel like he does a lot of like dynamic things as well like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean so yeah, like, yeah. good choice good choice how about you yeah I would probably say like just some of the actors that I love watching like of course Zendaya uh, yes. Millie Bobby Brown, yes. Sophia Carson, like right. even actors that I've watched since I was little that are now like grown up. Like yes. it's amazing seeing like their journey and stuff. So I'd, those are just pretty much actors that I watch on TV. Yes. Like they just inspire me all the time. Yes, and I feel like now since we're like in such a new generation where they need new talent. Like I feel like we've right. seen like so many like of the same people, which is right. great. But I feel like this is like such a good generation of like new actors, influencers, yeah. and people. And I could totally like we never know like. This year, like next year, y'all could be like on those shows. I know, yeah, like, it's crazy it's to crazy think about. It's so possible. It can all like mm -hmm. happen. Like one day you get an audition, and like that two months be. later you're filming yeah. the show, and then like a year later, like everyone around the world knows you, and it's, yes. it's just so crazy how fast it can happen nowadays right. with like streaming and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. So, so what has been your biggest milestone that you have like made so far as an actor? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. I don't know. I feel like each experience I have is like so special in each of right. those ways. So it's hard for me to like pick one exact like milestone yeah. because especially like Orange is the New Black was such like a big yes. thing for me. I did like my first movie when I was 10. As, wait, hold on. You need to tell us about this. I did not. What, okay, anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that movie, um, it was called The Brooklyn Banker. So I was 10 when I did that. Chicken Girls Now. Like they've all just been different experiences in different ways. So they're all just so special. Yeah. We're gonna come back to you on that movie real quick because I didn't know about that. But like, let's. What about you? Um, probably Chicken Girls. But yes. in the pet, was it last year? The last year I got super close to booking like two huge projects. So nice. like, unfortunately, you know, they didn't work out in the end. But okay. like, still being so close, I think is like an achievement. Cause yes. like, I mean, clearly you're like good enough for it, and it right. totally like motivates you to keep going because yes. you've gone so close. So. And also those directors and producers For know sure. who you yeah, are yeah, yeah. so like they'll definitely be scouting you out. They'll be like, hmm, we see him, we see yeah, him. Yeah. For sure. Like, And I totally like relate to that on like a right. personal level. Like being so close to something and, and then it, like, like hurts because it's it like does. you're waiting, you're like checking your email and then you yes. get it and you're like oh and then you open it and you're like oh. But they're always watching. For especially sure. on social media they're always watching. Yeah. Which is kind of scary but like <laughs> oh, this, this is so yeah, cool. Right. So You've been on a movie. That's so awesome. I didn't know yeah. about that. But like, tell us more about that experience. Yeah. So I was around 10 years old. I think it was in 2016. I filmed um, the Brooklyn Bankers, which nice. filmed in New York. So oh, that's yeah, awesome. it was really nice. It was basically we were like a Italian family. I can't really like. I was really young at the time. Yeah. So the movie was like, I think it was like rated R. So like, ooh, yeah. scandalous. <laughs> so for me at the time, I didn't really have like a full like understanding understanding right. of like what it was about but one of my favorite things about it was when I got onto set yes. um, some of the kids from another family that I, I actually knew who they were in real life right. that we were good friends oh, with them so, so it was so nice it was like we got onto set and I was like 
oh my god, you booked this too? That's and so then we fun. ended up just having like a blast filming it, and it was yeah. really great, yeah. And that's awesome, just how I told him, like, that's good for like just growing up and like having like um, experience. That's such yeah. a good experience. Like, even if you didn't like know, like, at that moment what was yeah. going on, that's such a good like experience and good for your portfolio. <laughs> great for yeah. your portfolio. Like, back to it now, it's great to, you know, see yes. how I was so young and able to do that. Yes, that's so awesome. Do you have any advice for upcoming like ta like actors and like people in the industry? Um, I say this in like literally every interview, <laughs> but like there's so much rejection and you like can't take it personally. Right. And it's so hard at first because like for me, like at first if it was like a no from an agent or manager, like for an audition, I'd be like, oh, like what did I do? Like yes. it's about me, but it's usually not about you. And it's right. like it could literally be your hair color, your eye color, your height, your age. Like yes. there's so many factors and you just mm -hmm. can't take it personally. You just have to keep going and right. eventually there will be that one yes and it would have been worth it to go through all those no's. I love that. I honestly needed that too because I was that person that was like taking rejected ho rejection hard. Right. So like that's great advice. That's great advice. What about yeah. you? Uh, I pretty much honestly say the same thing. Like my main thing is like don't give up because like I said like I've been working since I was five but I've definitely not booked every single audition right. ever. So you're going to get so many no's but you just have to keep you know being like putting in the work and practicing always yes. and just you know every audition is just an opportunity to even get in front of these directors and right. producers so you just have to be grateful for each step yes. that it takes yeah thank you guys so much for coming on my you, show y'all are so like insightful and like has so much wisdom I know like you're, we're like basically the same age but like I learned so much from you guys Aww. so yes thank you so much for having me and then yeah I'm so sorry what did I just say I just had a brain fart guys okay thank you so much for coming on my show don't forget to like comment subscribe and also follow them on your their social medias and we'll see you next time bye subscribe to Marcel's iHeart radio show for more info on your favorite influencers celebrities and what's happening now and watch the Marcel TV channel on BTV streaming now on Apple TV Fire TV Roku and Android TV to connect DM at Marcel Wells